besides uh, just not wanting to pump if you want to use it as a gravity filter if one of these parts fails internally uh, here's another option using it as a gravity filter you can pretty much use this method on almost any type of filter I would try it out at home first though so you know if it works or doesn't work and which fittings and adapter you need for your particular uh, water kit here's how I use a regular water filter and turn it into a gravity filter I got a uh, water container in this case a platypus with a uh, connection here on the end and the uh, which you'd use for like a bite bite valve camelback type outfit and then what I do is I connect this in to the water filter so I remove the output and if you don't have an output nipple in this case because I because I put a uh, filter on the end you can get these double barbs at the home uh, home improvement store and uh, then you could put this to use, use this to connect from here to the output of the water that's hanging up and I take my uh, other water container in this case it's a uh, platypus bite valve with camelback. I actually prefer the camelback the platypus water containers but I like the camelback bite valves a lot better. Connect this onto the nipple there now there's a ball valve in here sometimes you have to remove this if you don't have enough head pressure and then what I like to do to get it going is since it is a pump uh, I like to uh, pump a little of the water get the uh, filter wet and primed so this is the check valve I took out to speed it along once you take the check valve out you can pinch the hose and squeeze of course if that's how it if it failed, you could do that too. I'm going to pull that open to get the full flow. And it's a dripping. I mean, it's a it's a slow drip, but it'll fill up. What I like to do is put this up as high as possible to get the most head pressure. And now we wait. So while uh, using the, uh, you know, your regular water filter as a gravity filter works, it's just slow as you can see. I mean, because it, it's just dripping in, you know, a couple, maybe, uh, maybe a couple drips a, a second. The upside to these is you can clean them. That filter, you cannot clean, but you can backwash. And the best way to backwash it, actually, is to use a filter, you hook up the hose here, pressurize it from reverse, and then uh, that'll clean it when it's real silty water. It works, it's just really slow. It's more for, uh, when you use those ceramic gravity filters, it takes a long time, so it's more of an overnight, overnight type task.